Hi guys, VST here, Venaspixtech. Welcome back on my channel. It's been a while, but we have today some great news again in regards to Google Camera, Google Camera Beta. Indeed, Nova, one of the other kings of the Google Camera modding, has released his first beta version of the Google Camera 8. And I've been testing these guys. I want to share my feedback with you, my review. Of course, also the download links to the XDA thread and Celso. So, Version 6 based on Google Camera 8.0.101. The only devices right now supported are the OnePlus 8 Pro, 7 Pro, 7T Pro, okay, the Zenfone 6, 8T, the Nord S20 Ultra, the Poco X3, Redmi Note 7 Pro. You can read the whole list here, guys. So please make sure that you use one of those devices unless you, you have another device. It's not gonna work right now. And bear in mind, it's still a better version. So another device can be fixed is Sony Xperia 1 too. So if you have this device, then yeah, you can be probably lucky. For other devices that are not working, only logs from this devices list will be read. So guys, if you have devices that are not here, you wanna try this you can send the locks attach it here probably the guys can help and right now very important this version is without the lip patcher but the next version will include a multi-lens as the man patcher and this guys is very great news indeed because the very first public version of the gold camera 8 was released by bsg and yeah it was really an awful version not a lot of things were working here right now Arnova is the second public available beta for gold camera 8 i have installed it here guys and i just want to do a setup and review with you so i'm starting it for the very first time of course we need to allow some permissions so allow 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 now and now we're here okay so the first thing we are presenting is turn on by default is save location and motion photos we can directly go to setting and see what we have there so we go to settings and you know the first thing i always want to do is go here to learn more and about and see indeed this is the google camera version and we can also see here google camera version build 80101 so this is indeed the real thing let's start from the top we have the safe location here we have the camera sounds we have the Google Lens suggestions, save selfie as previewed, I removed that one, social share, I'm not a big fan, so I always removed that one, gestures, the frequent faces, storage, also something that I was not able to observe in other versions, that's quite nice. Then we have also advanced, in advance we have the show dirty lens warning, the HDR control, which I encourage you to put on RAW and JPEG if you want to shoot RAW photos, store videos efficiently, been enough time I've seen this, use A65, it reduces greatly the size of your video files. And there are some developer settings right now. Shasta Force, go to Simple Output and Saber Force. I am not really encouraging you to test them out unless you know what you're doing. Still, you can do this. If you have problem with this, then our camera breaks and you can always clear cache and then you can start over. Leave them out for now. Then we have composition. Then we have photo. Then we have video. In the video, we have the video stabilization. And it's actually something also we see for the first time or I see for the first time, the so-called audio zoom. Zooming in on subject booth sound and reduces back background noise and this is also something we've seen in the stock camera for the OnePlus 8 Pro. They are using a technology from Nokia and I had mixed feeling about this. You can check my video review here. Let's see how this will perform and then of course we have the help and feedback. So this is it guys going now to the camera itself and we're gonna be doing some photos so let me just do some photos again. I'm just gonna use my gamepad. All right, swipe for options. Okay, you can apparently get the menu like this. I will stop now the motion photos. Now, what is very good in this Google camera is that for the first time I see, you know, we have like the, the stock Google camera suggestions. So, you know, they kind of like explain you what is the motion photo. You can learn more if you want. So let me just take a picture here. All right. And I want to make sure that I also have the Asia Plus enabled. So let's see the picture here. I think incredible level of detail, like, oh, I mean, this is Google Camera and Nova. how can this go wrong? You see, this here, guys, is the reflection of the window that I'm shooting, so it's really amazing. So, okay, the camera works, and let's go to video, guys. I think in video there are some new things, so apparently in video you can go full HD, you can go 4K, and we have the 60 frame per second. I'm gonna go to full HD and 60 frame per second, and something that is quite new, and I also did not observe that into the version of BSG, we have here the new video stabilization option. So we have the standard one, we have the lock one, and oh, again here, we are presented with this very nice option to understand what's going on. So here again, for the first time, I am presented with this option to understand really the stabilization that will be used. Now we have the standard stabilization that is used really for most like standard scenario, right? Steady slide movement, 
grid for everyday shots. Then we have the locked one. So if you go to lock one, we have the lock stabilization where the camera locked onto your scene like a tripod. Great when you don't need to move the camera. And then you have here the active stabilization I probably used for sports. So gives you smooth video when you're on the move. Great for action shots. And then the last one, I think this was very much advertised by Google. We have the panning stabilization. Slows down your phone's panning movements. Great for professional looking cinema shots. I will finish all of these stabilization modes are using, of course, electronic stabilization i'll probably test so let me just do guys a cinematic pump test see what will happen and what not so i'm just doing a short video like this you see and i'm not sure if this is gonna work it's not a pixel device and of course google camera is mainly used for photos but i'm just eager to understand so this is really the video with the cinematic pan stabilization and i'm not sure if this is supposed to work like this probably not let's try to do also a test for the active one so let's say i'm just gonna i say simulate some sports events okay it's probably funny but let's see if this has worked somehow simulate some sports yeah. events okay yeah this one not that bad simulate some sport. You know, and we can of course go to the standard one, but let's test the standard 4K 60 FPS and let's see how this will perform. Okay, now I have here a special model. All right, this is my future car, guys. I'm gonna buy this from the money I earned from YouTube. So let's see here. A special model. All right, this is my future car, guys. I think flawless 4K 60 model. FPS video. That's not a joke, it does work. So we're gonna go now through the camera, okay? Let's do some more shots with the camera, guys. So again, I'm just put this here to HDR and I'm just going to focus on the object. We can also see we have tracking focus and that's really great. You know what this means? Like if your object is about to move, you see, the focus immediately is going to get changed and adjusted through your object, of course, if you're not too close. Incredible quality, guys, I'm really impressed. So we have also the portrait mode, guys. In the options for the portrait, we can go with face retouching off, and then you have also a subtle one. There is also an explanation. Let's see, and this works as well as, I'm really amazed that they build it in right now, because people can finally understand what will happen if you use that setting or that setting. Finally, people will get to understand what will happen if I use face retouching, um, you know, subtle or smooth or off. I, of course, always go for a more natural look with the off one, okay? And portrait mode, guys, portrait shots are quite nice. I tested them and they do work. And then we have night sight. And in the night sight, guys, we should have also Aster. So Aster is here. Let's see also, wow. I have a feeling that I'm genuinely using a Pixel phone. Having all the suggestions really make me feel this way. So we have the astrophotography, you can turn on, turn off. We have also the night side. And I do also think, guys, you should also have night portraits. So let's try to test that as well. I am in my special dark chamber for night side testing. And this is, guys, what I wanted to show you. So apparently when you're in a dark room, you get a suggestion to automatically use night side or not. And this, by the way, works also on portraits. So if you go to portraits, guys, you see, you are now finally able to take portrait also with the automatic night side. We should also have night portraits, guys. So if you go to a place dark, you're gonna get an out suggestion that you're able to test the night portraits. Overall, I'm pretty impressed because the first beta released from Arnova is working 100% on my phone. We're talking about Arnova. So Arnova's Gcam 8, really rocking on my 8 Pro, guys. I encourage you to test it. Share your opinions here in the comments below. Go on the XTA forum, you know, put your problems there. Maybe you can get some help. Great work again from Arnova, and we're gonna catch up in my next video. With that said, guys, VST over and bye.